Hi everyone and welcome to the next video in our training for summer online courses. In this video we're going to learn how you can upload a file to your Moodle course. This is especially important if you want to upload a syllabus or if you want to upload any type of images or maybe any kind of files that you want to share with the student that are pertinent to the class. So for this tutorial, we're going to use the example of posting our syllabus to our Moodle page. So I have my Moodle page open here and I want to put the syllabus here in the general section. So I want to make sure my editing button is turned on and to do that, I go to the upper right hand corner, choose the gear and press turn editing on. I want to scroll down and click add an activity or resource. And here under resources, I want to choose file. You want to give your file a name. So again, I'm just going to do syllabus. And in the description, if you're giving an article or you're giving something that requires some sort of explanation as to what it is, you would put that here in the description box and you can be as detailed as you like. Since syllabus is pretty self-explanatory, I'm just going to type syllabus again here in this section, but it is not mandatory, so you don't have to write anything. Here under select files, I can drag and drop my file that I wish to put in here, or I could use the file picker. But I do want to mention that if you are uploading files, you can only upload one file per resource. There is another way to add multiple files, which we will discuss later on in this video. So again, I can drag and drop my file here, or I can click on the file picker here, press upload a file, make sure that this is highlighted, which it should be by default, but in case it's not, you just click on this and press browse and search your computer for the file that you want to upload. So I have it here on my desktop and I'm going to choose the file that I want to put in, press upload this file, and then I have a few options here. Under appearance, I can choose how I want this displayed. Usually I leave mine as automatic, but if you wanted to force download or embed it or open it outside of your Moodle page, you can do that, but I'm just going to choose automatic. So I'm gonna press save and return to course. And now you can see here in my general section, I have the syllabus here. And what it does for me is my downloads all go to my downloads folder. So I have, I can look up here and show where that is and actually view it and here is my syllabus. Now the other way that you can add files is to drag and drop them directly onto the main Moodle page. So again you want to make sure your editing button is turned on and ours is and then we're just going to go to where we have our files and drag and drop them right over. So I have my files here and I'm going to find the files that I want to add and let's say I want to select two of them and I just drag and then drop them here where it says add files here. Once I do that, it shows up right here on my main page, and then you could just go about business as usual. Now, if by any chance you want to move these, you're not stuck with, let's say you put it in this section, but you decided you really wanted to put it in this first week, not to worry, you can move it right over, so you can do that by just clicking on these little arrows here and just drag it and drop it right to where you want it. And again, I'm gonna put that right back to where it was. And I don't need all these syllabuses, so if I want to delete these, I can go to the edit menu next to each of the items and click delete, and it'll ask if I'm sure, and then I can do that to all the other ones that I don't want either. This is just a way that you can upload a PDF, but you can also upload Word documents, PowerPoint slides, you can upload images, you can also upload files, music files that you have. So you do have a large variety of choices to pick when you're trying to choose what files you want to post. In our next video, we're going to learn how you can use labels to enhance your Moodle page.